Hi there, Gijs here and I hope you are doing well. For those who have seen the video review on the Trek 1120 bike packer, they know that I promised two things. The first is that I would make a review on the lighting. Well, that's a problem because Trek still sells the taillight, but the headlight is out of the collection already. And Basically Trek was a bit surprised about this as well and they didn't really know why they put it on this bike. So they are sending me a new set that will arrive in a couple of weeks together with a, a brand new Bontrager Garmin uh, GPS because the tail and the headlamp and the GPS they all work together. So this video will be up in a couple of weeks. The other thing is that I made some complaints about the saddle and about the handlebar. Um, the saddle is too hard to my liking um, especially if you do longer holes I well it's basically a pain in the butt so what did I get from a local bike shop sector 2 bikes I borrowed this Brooks Cambium C17 saddle I've been riding on the saddle quite a lot and I have a leather version uh, of the, the B version on my bike at the moment so that's why I didn't take that one um, but I really would like to test it with this saddle because this has been so comfortable in the past that I think this is going to work with the uh, bike packer as well and then the other thing it is a different handlebar and it's a Satori Norietti plus WS and it's also being sold under the name Inspire Cop 31.8 Reversed Riser 660 um, and well if you look from above you can see that this handlebar is a bit more curved downwards but the angle between this part and this part it's a bit more towards the rider and that was basically what I was complaining about because I was correcting my wrist the whole time so now let's do some DIY on the Trek 1120 well first let me start with removing the light and then this slides up to the front put that aside get my own gear off here it's the mount of my smartphone and then it's just getting a lot of nuts and bolts loose let's start with the bar ends how do you call them did i say bar ends i meant grips of course then we do the next thing for the brake let's see if they're not too tight shifter on this side and the bus itself and then I can move it around a bit seat post the dropper post this is pretty tight that's the bottom two screws and always take a cup of tea that one away and then you see how this piece is mounted also inside the handlebar Of course, you know, the handlebar was mounted in this direction um, because that's how Trek invented it. Of course, you can turn it around and that will make a bit of a difference, but still, I don't think it's that much because this one is almost totally flat. So I don't think it makes. Um, let's, now we're doing this. Um, this one, the Bontrager one, I have a scale here, and this one weighs 271.1 grams. Now let's see, I think the other one is a bit more heavy. It's 307.9 grams, so that's a bit of a disadvantage. Let's put it in the right way. This is how it should work, it's more like a bit racer now. I don't know if this is for you guys the same, but you know, every time when I'm doing some things like repairs on my motorbike or uh, on my bike, working on a bike, the DIY stuff, it really always makes me feel very, very relaxed. I like, I like this kind of stuff. Um, that's why it's a hobby problem. Eh? Okay, now let's go to the saddle. I need a bit bigger torque wrench, but first let me remove the taillight before I damage it. And then let's have a look if this really works the way I want it. Oh, that one is tight. 
Thank you, handlebar. Now let's do it a bit on this side. Yeah, now it's getting there. That's where it is. Maybe I don't have to take the whole plate off. Okay. Let's do the same thing with the saddle, the original Bontrager saddle. The weight is 269.5 grams, which is not too heavy. I know this one is more heavy. So this one is 421.6. That's quite a big difference. So if you are into really lightweight trekking, maybe you should not do this if you really want that. But I know the comfort of this one and I really want this. So let's get on with putting it on there. Let me have to fiddle around a bit. Okay, with the two bolts you also adjust the position of the saddle into the front position or more to the rear, but also the angle. And that's something I always like to try while biking. Uh, so I'll do this probably before I start out and doing this a thousand times to make it really into the right position. Well, the saddle is mounted, the handlebar is there, so I'm basically ready to go. Now let's go for a test drive and see if I am right. Yeah, especially in climbing, the handlebars are definitely an improvement. That was a solid day of testing the adaptations I made to the track. And I must say, I really like them. Um, the handlebar is even lower than the original Bontrager handlebar. But I think the position is a bit more sportive, but I don't have the wrist pain anymore. So for me, this setup is perfect. Same for the saddle. I already know this because I've been riding this one for a long time already. Uh, and it's really my kind of saddle. Um, of course, these things cost money. I'll put the prices in the description. Um, there's one thing I didn't think about, and that's the fact that Trek made this perfectly rubber piece to prevent the rack from hitting the frame when the bike tips over. Well, with the lower handlebars, the handlebars hit the frame sort of. So beware of that. Um, because the handlebars is a bit lower, uh, cornering is really tight. But I tried it on the mountain bike tracks where I usually go and it's not a problem. It's a fine setup for long distance trekking, but also for mountain bike rides. And now it's time for me to get the handlebar off the bike again and the saddle and bring it back to the respectful owners. And of course the track goes back to track. I hope you like the review and please, if you do, like this video, subscribe to my channel, follow me on Instagram and like my Facebook page because I'm doing this for free and I really need your support. Uh, and if you do, many, many, many thanks in advance. And as you know it, enjoy the outdoors. Ciao, ciao.